Hey guys, happy Halloween. That's why that's why I'm wearing this. Okay, you get it? It's a costume. I am now a rapper. You're welcome. Um, so this is the second ever episode of the return of the Wine Wednesdays. If you want to see these a week earlier, this is well, we'll do the sponsorship sponsored by me. Fucking me. And you, if you want to sponsor, that is. Um, on patreon.com slash winebox poppy or YouTube membership, you can see these a week early. Plus vlogs, plus my stand-up. All that stuff, cool things. Go check it out if you would like. But let's get into this one. I don't know the title of this yet because I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to go ahead and look at people's um, suggestions that I asked people. Did I did I bring my water over here? I don't think so. Oh, let me go grab it. We're not going to – I'll edit it out. Fuck it. I'm about to stream, so I got to get energized. I know this isn't water, but you get it. Mm. 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 If my face looks right, it's just because I got back from the gym two seconds ago. Sauna and everything. But I asked people what they want to see on a podcast for the new channel. Mm. Almost a big mistake. I think I skimmed them, saw a couple of them. If, if, right away, I was like, fuck y'all. <laughs> Not even kidding. So let me take a look here and go through these again. What the fuck is this in my recommended? 90 Day Fiance, season five on crack. I'm sure that's really funny. <laughs> okay, YouTube.com. Let's go over to the community section. Go check these out really quick. I'm going to pick one of these out and talk about them, I think. I think that sounds fun. Whichever one. Let's go through a couple of these really quick. A lot of these, first of all, are about 90 Day Fiance. Well, I was like, my, I was like, what topics would you guys like to see me talk about on my new podcast? A ton of them were about 90 Day Fiance. Do you not know what a fucking podcast is? <laughs> I already, talk, I already make fun of 90 Fiance every day. Talk about your plans for Halloween? None. I don't have any at all. I think there th people think that I'm talking about like – some people actually think that I refer to my regular comedy videos as a podcast on Winebox Poppy. No. No. Mm. Mm. Actually, this is good. I like, I like this one. But let's go through some of the fucking dumb ones. New season, 90 days. Okay. Driving slash road rage. Actually, that's not that bad. Actually, I'll go ahead and like that. Underwater hamster objectivism. <sighs> Hilarious. Uh, penis and boobs, but like they kind of drew them out with stuff. Awesome. Meth. Nothing. Toilet humor. Butthole bleaching, laughing face. Food. Dildos. Your cock, please, sir. I could talk about that all day. Kids and how not to slap them very easily. Let's see. What else? There's a few more dumb ones. Tranny porn. Mohammed and Danielle's journey. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, how about actual podcast ideas? But there's a few in here. So let's go. Mm, that's a good one, too. There's a few in here that are super good. Let's see. So how you secret, really secretly hate people. How about how you really secretly hate people? What? Secretly? I thought this was uh, a fact. I thought this was very, very known, very open. I thought that was like my thing. See, here's a little thing. <clears throat> Story time. Back when I was in comedy school over at the Second City in Chicago um, doing stand-up. That was a stand-up uh, class. Um, and we're restarting doing stand-up very soon. But um, they th they're like, we know your thing instantly. We know your thing. We know what it is. You hate everything. And I was like, fuck yeah, that's goddamn right. I do hate everything, right? Like, do, do I actually... Well, hate everything in people, right? So, like, I don't hate people, right? I just think the majority of people are, like, boring, right? I, I just kind of, like, I don't like small talk. I don't like these things. And, like, when I make fun of people on YouTube, when I make fun of YouTube videos, it's, like, the worst. Like, if it's TLC, they're obviously taking the worst bits out of people and the worst things they've done and showing it. Obviously, that's not, like, entirely who the person is, but picking that apart and they're showing the worst on purpose so that's super easy but um even with like regular people or with, like people messaging me and stuff not like not all the time but like sometimes it's just like what the fuck like that's my biggest thing when i talk to people i'm like what the fuck how have you lived this long right that's a lot of th i don't know I i'm not really sure what it is i think a lot of it is like people I maybe i don't like this because like people aren't themselves 
ever. I, I rarely, I don't really know that many people who are truly themselves. A lot of people are like trying to be cookie cutter or what they think society wants. Or a lot of people will get these like ideas and like go off on this train of this, like, I have to be this way for people to like me. For example, people um, who like, what is it? Like there's this one guy who's like this fucking huge virgin, okay? And um, he'll always think, he's like, he thinks that he has to like get in really good shape. He thinks he has to be like this successful, awesome, a successful businessman and like has to get super shredded. And he thinks that like him just losing weight will get him any girl he wants, right? He's literally asked my friends and all this stuff for like nude pics or like massages when he loses another 30 pounds. And then he just literally messaged one of them again. He's like, how about 10? Can I get just 10? 10 pounds? Can I get the massage? He's like, bitch, what the fuck? I never said yes. Okay. And it's just people like, not, not everybody's like that, obviously. But they, there's this thing that people think they have to be this certain way or this certain thing and it's so fake and it's not them type thing like all these people who like try to be fitness gurus or they see this other thing that somebody's doing and they're like i'm going to do that also because that's working for them right it's natural for them so i'm going to do it too people who are like who want to be business people who are people who put like entrepreneurship in their um you know in their fucking bio on instagram and all they do is post quotes i've been there i've done that I won't fucking lie. I'll be straight up forward. And that's maybe why I hate it because I've done that too. Um, but like I think it's just a lot of it's small talk is why I don't like – I like people. I like talking to people for a certain amount of time. And then it gets to a point where I'm just like wasting my time type thing. N not even like above people. Like if I could have a good conversation with you, I'll talk with you for 24 hours straight it's not about the time equivalency but it's more of like if i'm having small talk with you like hey man how's the weather good how's uh the politics are great yep just these menial things that don't matter the majority of people i've ever talked to in my entire life do not have i don't I've never had a really good conversation with the overwhelming majority of people i know right and that's almost every single person it's very very hard to find people who like really offer a ton of value in day-to-day -day conversations. And that's that's my huge fucking problem, right? Because everybody you meet for like it's this fake thing, right? And you meet them in like social settings. Like they have this like fake little facade, which takes a while to get through, whatever. Um, like obviously people like in my position who are so open on here, you can't really have a facade in public. I mean, if you want to, whatever, but like if you if you're talking to random people who have seen you and stuff. You, you can't really, like, they know who you are. So you can't put up this, like, fake, like, hello, I am an accountant type thing, right? But, like, they have this, like, it's just stupid. Kind of, like, I don't really go out or do much, and that's by choice. A lot of, like, I've seen people comment being like, oh, what, does Winebox Poppy not have any friends? It's like, no, 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 I have a lot of friends, and a lot of people want to hang out all the time. However, it's like, why like <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like why would i do that i could be doing something productive i get that it is good to be social and go out and stuff and i, I do periodically um but like usually when you go out and do something if you go to a bar it's usually these a waste of time you're drinking everybody's like drunk and then you're trying and even if you're sober you're having this conversation and you just don't give a shit so i think it takes a while to get to this point at least for me it's going to take a while to get to a point to where i would actively love to be around people a lot they would have to be very very like-minded and i think that is very very difficult to find somebody even in like the same profession i know one person from my high school who does this professionally right um to my knowledge of course to my knowledge i only know one i don't want to fucking talk <laughs> you know not a comedian right she does makeup like youtube professionally but like i would want to talk with people who are funny and like who are F funny you know i know people who make me laugh and I, there's a few people who are funny right but not in the i want to meet like people who want to do it professionally and who want to pursue this and i think surrounding myself with those people and anybody who isn't those people is almost a waste of time kind of like it's cool to meet other people but i really want to it doesn't have to be comedy, but it has to be at least like a like-minded person who can see like a bigger picture aside from like, oh man, what are we doing this weekend? Ooh, I can't wait. Because like weekends don't exist for me. Like they don't. Like that's not a 
tangible thing. A weekend could be right now. I could have, I could take fucking three weeks off if I wanted to, right? And I want, I want to, maybe that's why I seemingly hate people, but obviously this is more serious. Like people, I think I might have asked this question because of like my YouTube videos. Like with the YouTube videos, when I make fun of people, that's not serious. I'm not being serious. I don't give a shit, right? Like if I make fun of a fat person or if I make fun of like Darcy or Nicole or somebody doing something stupid, I don't care at all. It seems like I care, but that's acting. I'm genuinely acting i don't care i can make myself seem like i care and it's fun to care but i don't care if they all fucking die when i say that i'm dead as serious i don't give a shit at all about those people um in like the nicest way possible right like i'm not gonna like laugh be like yeah thank god they died but like i'll be like all right you know what i'm saying um but i think that might be my thing i don't know because it's like it's it's like w- with being in comedy and now that i'm really really focusing on stand-up and stuff like that i can feel like i'm just like in this different mindset than people I talk to. And like, you kind of have to be, you have to be in a different mindset than people who aren't, aren't doing what you're doing. Like my girlfriend doesn't do what I do, but I can still talk to her. Like we kind of get it right. Like she has the want to do greater things. Right. Not saying that a nine to five isn't a great thing, but you know what I mean? Doing more than a nine to five and stuff like that. And like the majority of people I know would all probably like to, I would assume, but they don't. So it's like, it's, it's not me talking down. Like, this is just me being honest and just saying whatever comes to the top of my head that feels right. And I'm really trying to like even pick this apart with you guys while I'm going through it. You know, I don't plan this. I just like to talk. And I kind of want to talk about topics. So that's why I started this. And I like this topic. I've kind of thought about it a lot. You know, I, I just think I'm bored with people. I'm like, that sounds like I'm bored with like I said, after an extent, it's really cool meeting certain people, but then you're like, oh my God, you're the same fucking person as John. You're the same person after a certain amount, right? I, I mean, like, even when like I talk about people, like, like, uh, and, and sometimes I make a little, like in some of my bits and some of my jokes on YouTube, when I'm like, oh, that guy, he, uh, don't you just hate that person whose whole identity is just tattoos? Like, yeah, that's John. Yeah, that's the guy with the tattoos. Like that's this whole identity. There's no personality, you know? I see a lot of people as, like, low personality, I guess. I mean, I, I, it's maybe it's just because, like, a lot of people aren't comfortable with themselves is my best. Because I think there is a problem with, like, not wanting to be yourself. And people are always scared of being themselves, like I said prior, with the society thing. And trying to mold themselves into things they think society wants, which is a huge, huge fucking problem. I talked about it a little bit on my 50,000 subscriber video, I believe. Um, it's a huge problem. And I don't really meet a lot of people who are truly like themselves, I guess, maybe. I think that might be it. You know, and I've never, I, I've met a few, right? But like, I think it's like hard until you get to a certain place or somewhere where you can surround yourself with them. But uh, wait, hold on. I have to make sure that my computer doesn't like go to sleep. One sec. Mm, Cause remember it's just me here. So I can't have somebody else be like, hey man, make sure that doesn't <laughs> go to sleep or something like that. But all in all, I mean, I don't hate people right i think just that a lot of people like I, maybe it's just like and i don't hate people obviously it's, it's really hard to word this because i don't really think there are words for this i think a lot of people if you could dive into it would agree a little bit like oh i don't enjoy being around people who aren't like me right and there is a subconscious thing where you want to be around people who are like you or look like you right subconsciously like you can't decide that but that's just how it is and i think that i'm even just more open about it you know um I've been watching more comedians and like interviews and stuff like that. And like a lot of them are like, I don't like talking to people who aren't comedians. And like, I, I, I don't know any other ones, but I don't really know any actively funny people. So maybe that might be my thing. Maybe I'm not sure that I'm, I'm guessing that might be it. Or maybe like, I don't know, maybe there's people don't see the same things that I do or think the same way. And like, now that I'm just so, confident and and i love myself so openly outwardly that like i can see it from other people and maybe that annoys me like we're i'm diving deep into my psyche right here and i think that might be i think i can just tell i'm very good at reading people i can just like tell like for example i was doing an interview with somebody and we were talking about this guy he's made youtube videos with and i was like yeah that guy doesn't drink or smoke or anything like that ever he's completely straight he doesn't do anything like that and he's like how the fuck did you know that how did you know that at all? I'm like, I could just tell the way you carry yourself is it shows a lot. Um, and I think that might be my problem. Maybe I just don't know people like me yet. I think that just might be it. 
And I think that will definitely change in the coming years. Very, very excited to get more into the comedy standpoint. You know, I'm just going to talk openly here. Man. I mean, I like streaming, but I thought of this idea today. Like, what if I just started doing – because I want this so bad, right? What if I started doing stand-up every day after I'm done editing, go to the city, and stop streaming? What if? I think I might do that. I think I'm, I'm starting to think about that because I'm just getting so consumed and so excited and, th and thinking that, like, I could do it, but it's going to take a lot of time. And where else could my time be allocated currently? Hmm. I'm not sure. But let me know your guys' thoughts. Do you guys think similarly or not? Am I just a piece of shit? I mean, even if you think I am a piece of shit, it doesn't matter to me at all. I'm just talking out loud, trying to figure this out. I, this is the interesting things I like. You know, I have... I, I'm not asking you guys to give me topics because I don't know what to talk about. The problem is I have choice fatigue. I have too many things that I would love to talk about. I love talking about a lot of things. A lot of things that interest me. The majority of things interest me, good or bad. I have a list still, but if you guys want to comment down below. Um, I'm not sure like on the views on the last one because I'm uploading that today, right now, um, for YouTube members to see and Patreon members to see. And then next week it goes live and that's how it's going to happen. Like they get to see it a week early and stuff like that. So if you want to help, um, help this grow, um, help sponsor it and stuff like that, it really does mean the world. If you want to see it a week early and all this extra content, that would mean the world. And if you don't, that's totally, totally fucking okay. Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, this is on everything, iTunes, Spotify, everywhere, everywhere you can find it. Um, so thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you guys so much for coming over to the second YouTube channel and, uh, let me know your thoughts down below. I would, I'm really interested in how you, or what you guys want to see your thoughts on what I say. Be super open. Let's have a fucking conversation. Let's have a good one.